Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a highly requested video and that is my WW pantry and refrigerator staples. So I'm here today to show you what is a must absolutely positively have in both my pantry, my refrigerator, and I'm even going to give you a few of my freezer staples as well. So I'm going to take you on a tour of my pantry, my refrigerator, and my freezer, and I'm going to share with you all of the things that I cannot live without. All of these are my WW staples. There are a few items that I don't have on hand, so I'll make sure that I'm inserting a picture right here for you guys of the items that I don't have on hand so you can see exactly what those items are. I'm also going to be sharing with you where you can purchase these items, if they are an online purchase or maybe the stores that I tend to lean to to buy these items at. So if you wanna see my WW pantry, fridge, and freezer staples, then all you have to do is stay tuned. Our first stop on our staples tour is going to be here in my walk-in pantry. So I'm just going to take you into my pantry as is, and we're just gonna go around and I'm gonna point out the things that are staples for me on WW. Now, not everything right there is WW friendly. Some of this is for my husband. Some of this is just things that I have on hand. So let me take you through my most favorite WW staples. First, you can see here that I have my coffee pods. Now, I have the Nespresso Breville Virtual Machine. Coffee is a staple in my life in general, guys. So I always have backup extra pods of my espresso machine. I've shown that to you guys several times. Again, it's the Nespresso Breville Virtuo. It is linked down in my Amazon store if you're interested in checking it out. So first staple, coffee, zero points. Next, as you can see, I have quite the stock and that is my fiber gourmet pasta. You guys know that I love this pasta. You can have two ounces for three smart points. Make sure you measure that out dry as it is definitely better way dry. Otherwise you're gonna be like, what? That's all I get for three smart points. So measure the fiber gourmet out dry and it's half the points of regular pasta. So you know that I love this. Hence why I have several packages on hand. You can buy this on Nutrition's website. There is a link in my description box. Click the link, it'll take you directly there. So easy peasy. So I have several packages of the fiber gourmet pasta. Behind that, I have rice. Rice is another staple. I used to always buy this boil in a bag rice, and then I discovered that it is so easy to cook rice in your Instant Pot. So you can see up there that I have a bag of rice and I'll show you a bag of brown rice as well. So rice is a staple, it's low points. You can have half of a cup for three points. And I like to add this as a base to several, several dishes. So I always, always have rice on hand. Let's see, so, oh, speaking of rice, so here is some long ground brown rice or long grain brown rice. So again, always have rice on hand. Another thing that is an absolute staple for me in my pantry is my Julian Bakery Pro Granola. You know that I love this granola so much. It is amazing. This is the peanut butter cluster. This granola is great if you follow a low carb version of WW or even if you're following a low carb eating plan in general. This granola is amazing. So it is low carb. It's gluten-free, which is great. There's nothing artificial and there's not even any preservatives. So this peanut one is three smart points for half of a cup. Half of a cup, you guys, of granola for three points. Then there are some other flavors. I have them all actually. So I have the espresso cluster, the vanilla cluster, and the vanilla cinnamon. These are only two smart points for half of a cup. So the espresso is my all-time favorite, backed up with the peanut butter. You can buy these on Julian Bakery's bakery's website. Down in the description box is a direct link to their website. Here is my code that will get you 10% off and free shipping. So get some granola, you guys. It's a staple. I, I literally eat the granola every single day. I love it. I sometimes just pop a tablespoon or two on some yogurt. It really is a staple in my life. So moving on, of course, I have, you know, some sauces, just some backup things, but my sauce staple on WW is actually the Skinniest Dish Crock-Pot Marinara. 
I'll make sure that I link that recipe down below for you guys because it is the best and it's zero points. And then over here, we just have, of course, baking, lots of baking sauce type of things. Here is another item that is an absolute staple for me on my program. And that is my sugar-free honey. This honey is amazing. It tastes literally like regular honey, but it only has one smart point per tablespoon. So you can have quite a lot of the honey for one smart point. This is made with xylitol, so make sure that you keep it up in a way if you have pets, but I love it. It's way less points than regular honey. It tastes delicious. This product is also purchased off of Nutrition, the same place that you can buy the pasta. So definitely click the link, look around you guys. It's a pretty awesome website full of WW product. So I always have my sugar-free honey on hand. Another thing, is self-rising flour. I love to ingredient dough, so I always, always have self-rising flour on hand. I have to have it to make the dough, so it is definitely a staple in my house, 100%. Also, artificial sweeteners or sugar alternatives. So I really like this stevia in the raw. This one is actually zero calories. I purchased this at my local Fred Meyer. I like to have options. So I also have the sucrin powdered sugar blend. Another one I really like is the Lakanto monk fruit. This is a really good sweetener alternative. For brown sugar, I really enjoy sucrin and I also like the swerve brown sugar. So Sweetener alternatives are another staple in my plan. PB2, who doesn't love PB2? I don't go a minute without having PB2 in my pantry. I enjoy the actual PB2 brand. I bought this huge one. This is 16 ounces at Walmart. So if you're looking for PB2, Walmart is a fantastic price. So let's move to the second shelf of my pantry and I'll show you what staples I have there. These Fiber One Two Smart Point Baked Bars have become a staple. These are delicious. If I want something soft-baked, bakery-esque for only two points, I pick up these Fiber Ones. These are the lemon. Love them. So that's a definite staple. I always have the Smart Pop on hand because it's a great three-point snack. Pop it in the microwave. You get that salt, that crunch. So I always have Smart Pop. And then I always have quite a variety of these sugar-free mixes on hand. So I have the chocolate, the cinnamon swirl. This is something I have to have on hand when I'm wanting to bake a special treat. I like having these sugar-free mixes on hand. Speaking of mixes, Kodiak and Birch Benders are also absolute staples. I like to make pancakes, waffles. They're great for baking. Here's another thing that you know I'm obsessed with, and these are the Crunchmaster Brownie Bites. These are the protein brownie thins, and this is in salted caramel. I love these. You can have 24 of these for two smart points. You can't beat that, you guys, and they taste like the crunchy corners of a brownie. I know you can buy these at Sam's Club. I don't have that here, so I actually buy mine online, and it is linked down in my Amazon store. So you can see I have a full bag and a partial bag because I love them. Another thing are these 100 calorie dry roasted almond packs. Great to have on hand for protein. Great to take with you. Portion control at its finest. So I always have some sort of portion controlled nut on hand. Also, you guys know I love from Fiber Gourmet, the Thinnables. These are just like Cheez-Its, but they're half the points, less than half the points. You can have 30 of these Thinnables for three smart points. This is the Italian four cheese, and I also have sharp cheddar. I love the Thinnables. You can, again, buy these on Nutrition's website. So check it out. Absolute must have if you want that crunchy, cheesy cracker. So next, I always have on hand some sort of water enhancer, only because sometimes I don't just want plain water. I really like this energy pack from Walmart. It's cheap, it's delicious, so you can see in there that I'm, I'm running kind of low, but I like to have some sort of water enhancer on hand. So other pantry staples are my sweet treats. So these are my Choco Ripe peanut butter cup patties. You guys know that I love these. You can have one patty for one point or the entire pack of two patties for two smart points. So I always have the Choco Right on hand. I love them. They have no weird artificial flavor. They're delicious. So I have the peanut and I also have the vanilla 
peanut cluster. So good, you guys. These I buy off of the Protein Wise website. It is such a great site. They have tons of WW friendly items, one of which is the Sweet Nothings. I'm going to insert a picture because I don't have any on hand. I'm obsessed with them. They are one smart point chocolate. There's so many great things on the Protein Wise website. So if you click the link and enter my code here on the screen, you'll get $10 off of your first order. So go check it out. Look around. Free shipping on a minimal order and literally the best products there. So Choco Right comes from Protein Wise and so do these Choco Right little protein bars. These are the cookie dough. These are three points. These are delicious as well. So all of that comes from Protein Wise. I also buy my Quest bars on the Protein Wise website because I figure you get $10 off. So that makes a box of Quest $14.99 for 12 bars. And the birthday cake is my favorite. It is only four smart points. I always have a snack basket. So I I have, you know, some teas. I have my Lily's milk and dark chocolate chips. So I always have just kind of a little extra little snack basket on hand along with my snack basket here, which is where I'll throw in just kind of random items. So these are the Chalk Right peanut butter cups. This is another thing that I really like. These are the skinny dipped almonds and these are the individual package. I love the dark chocolate espresso two smart points. You can see I have my little nuts in here. So my, I have popcorn. I just have some random snacks. So I just like to have that on hand as an option so that I never feel like I don't have snacks. I always have canned tuna on hand. I have lots of beans and fruits and canned vegetables. Another thing I really like is this perky jerky. This is the turkey jerky original. This is only one smart point per serving and it is so incredibly delicious. I bought this at Walmart. So if you're looking for a good jerky, this one is amazing. So now into my husband's chips at the bottom, I have all of my WW friendly snacks. I usually will just write the smart points as you can see there on the snack. It makes it easy to track portable. You can take them with you. All of these snacks also came from Protein Wise's website and they range from two to three points for a pre-portion portion controlled snack. So definitely always have those on hand as well. Smart Sweets, another staple in my household. Three smart points for a package and it is literally candy. I'm obsessed with the peach rings. The Smart Sweets are absolutely amazing. As you can see, I always have just a ton on hand. I mean, that is, I love the Smart Sweets. You can buy these on the Smart Sweets website. Use the code Jen Clayton for free shipping. Again, guys, three Smart Points for candy cures that sweet tangy craving. Love them. Again, I probably eat Smart Sweets almost every single day. This is my chip basket. So I'm going to have just kind of random snacks in here. So I have pretzels and I have my little one point beef sticks that I also found at Costco. These are amazing. You can see I still have some more brownie things. These protein crisps, these wasabi ginger. These are really good and these are also from Protein Y. So I just kind of throw, again, I have a basket in my pantry that just has some random snacks in it for whenever I'm feeling snacky. And then I also always have sugar-free jello on hand pudding. You can see I have several flavors. I like to throw these in the Copycat Wendy's Frosties. These are great in Greek yogurt. So I always have sugar-free jello and jello pudding on hand. Another must-have pantry essential is Jif Whips. I love me some peanut butter and the best bang for your buck is the Jif Whips. So incredibly delicious. I always make sure I have nonstick cooking spray on hand. And I also just generally have quite a few just different backup items. Also, either olive oil or avocado oil. You can buy this entire thing at Costco for about 10 bucks, which is a steal. Another thing I always have in my pantry are seasoning packets. I like to have these on hand just for a quick, easy dinner. Then I can always just coat zero point chicken in it. I can cook shrimp in it. It just gives me options for dinner. And then I also always have tea. Always, always. You know I love my Sip Spy order. This is a tea subscription service. You can get five bucks off your first box down in my description box. Love this. Gives you a chance to try all sorts of amazing teas. So I always have quite a few teas on hand. I love the Teamy Bloom. There's just so many fantastic teas out there. And then the last thing I want to show you for pantry essentials is right down here. And of course, that is devotion. I have the angel food cake. 
And also down there, I have the brownie batter. So protein powder is an absolute essential on my plan. I probably have Devotion almost every single day. Again, my favorite protein powder ever. There is zero aftertaste. You guys, it is amazing. In the, my description box, you can go ahead and get 10% off your order. I definitely recommend the Angel Food Cake for baking. The brownie batter is so good for protein shakes and baking, actually. I mean, you can't go wrong with Devotion. One smart point for the Angel Food Cake, two smart points for the brownie batter. So that is something that will always, always be in my pantry. All right, guys, we're moving into the refrigerator. So my refrigerator staples, this is easy. So my first refrigerator must have our yogurts. I love to put a little bit of my Julian Bakery Pro Granola on these yogurts. So incredibly delicious. So I always have quite a few yogurts on hand. I've been loving that lemon meringue. You know that I love the Too Good yogurt. Another thing that seems to always be in my fridge it are Smart Cakes. I always have one open that I can make a parfait out of. Another thing that I do with the yogurts is make a parfait with a smart cake. For one smart point, my yogurt and some fat-free ready whip. This is the orange cream. So good, you guys. So incredibly delicious. This smart cake is one point. You can buy this on Smart Baking Co's website. Click the link down in the description box. Enter my code here on the screen and you'll get 10% off. So smart cakes, absolute necessity. I always have an open one in my refrigerator. I always have sour cream. You can put that on just about anything. And then some other refrigerator staples. You can see queso. I love me some queso. I also always, always have sugar-free frosting on hand. I like to just have this available to put on things. It's so low point, it's so delicious. And then back there, I also always traditionally have hummus and fat-free feta on hand as well. Light mayo. What WWer doesn't have light mayo? Low fat cottage cheese, again, two absolute positive staples. Also, another thing I always have in my refrigerator is I can't believe it's not butter light. Love this butter, it tastes delicious. It is so low point, but it gives you the feel that you're actually having butter. So I generally buy this huge ginormous one at Walmart. And then in the back here, of course, another staple, non-fat Greek yogurt. So. Those are some other refrigerator staples. And then of course, the um, garlic. You know I love garlic. So best price, if you guys have a Costco, I wanna say this is like $4. So again, staples in my refrigerator. Next up, I always have almond milk on hand. There is no doubt that there will always be almond milk in my refrigerator. I also always have some sort of sugar-free coffee creamer. I love the Italian sweet cream. It is so good. Here's my passion lemonade. That's a staple in the summer. The recipe for that I'll put down in the description box. It's so easy, you guys. It's a copycat of the Starbucks passion lemonade for zero points. Also, I always, always have eggs and fat-free ready whip. So again, refrigerator staples. Also for cheeses on hand, I always have the Jarlsberg light reduced fat Swiss cheese. This is one smart point cheese slices. So good. I buy mine at Trader Joe's, but I know that you can find them other places as well. I also always have laughing cow on hand for one point fat free cheddar because it is zero smart points. And I always have, as you know, Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella. So those items are always in my cheese drawer. I'm also going to always have a ton of produce on hand. You cannot do WW, you guys, without produce. So make sure that you are stocking up your refrigerator full of produce. And then another staple um, are these, of course. These are, if I didn't drop them, let me bring you guys around. Okay, there we go. The other staple are these, the Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. These are so delicious. One smart point wraps, you guys, and they are phenomenal. I don't go a day without having Olay in my fridge as well. And the last fridge staple, well, before I go into condiments that I wanna show you is a new food find and I'm obsessed. And that is these, these are the healthy eating all the time and go bars. You guys, these bars are amazing. The ingredients 
are so perfect. There is nothing artificial. Look at those ingredients, you guys. Nothing that isn't a whole food. And these bars are so good. They keep you incredibly full. Every single flavor that I've had is to die for. I literally love them. They even have a vegan bar. I, seriously, you guys, so good. So most of the bars are six points for a whole bar and three points for a half of a bar. That's why I have them marked. But I'm telling you, they are so worth every single one of those six points because it keeps you full. It has incredible ingredients. I mean, really, if you're looking for a whole delicious food, these are the way to go. Some of the bars you can see are seven points, and then some of them are four points for half of a bar versus three points for half of the bar. But it is well worth, in my opinion, every single point. This is a very small owned company. So good, you guys, so good. These bars are available. I will link them down in the description bar below for you guys. I don't have a code as of filming this video. If she does offer me a discount for you guys, I'll make sure that I include that as well and give you that down in the description box. But I highly recommend ordering the healthy eating all the time and go bars. You guys, so good. And my condiment staples, fat-free ranch, sugar-free caramel sauce. I always have Bolt House Farms. I have the sugar-free Hershey's. I always have, always, always, some sort of sugar-free jam on hand as well. And then also the reduced fat or no sugar added ketchup. Those are kind of my main staples. Oh, I almost forgot. I always do have G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce as well. So those are my refrigerator staples. Now let me bring you into my freezer. You can see back here I have some more smart cakes. I do freeze them. They last a lot longer. I also have built bars. You guys know I love built bars. I always have one box in my freezer. The rest I store in my refrigerator. Three smart points, you guys, and they taste like a candy bar, and they have 15 grams of protein. These are phenomenal. There is a link down in the description box for them that will get you 10% and free shipping, you guys. 10% off and free shipping, and they are amazing. I eat one every day. Would never live without these. This is probably my most staple along with the granola, like a daily staple. I have frozen fruit on hand to make smoothies and such. Another thing that I've really been liking this summer are these mini hold the cones from Trader Joe's. These are four smart points, so they've kind of become a staple in my freezer. Also, Western Bagel, you guys know I love Western Bagel. Oh my gosh, I probably eat these several times a week as well. Three smart points for most of the bagels, but this particular one, the Perfect 10 Plus is only two points, you guys. A full size bagel for two points. Now, pro tip, with Western bagels, you do wanna keep them frozen until you're ready to eat them. So make sure when you get your order, you pop them directly into the freezer. So good. You can order these on Western Bagels website. My code will get you 10% off, so you can't beat that. There's even some specials where you get free shipping. So check out Western Bagel. If you're a bagel lover, they are two to three smart points a piece. So love them. Speaking of bread, I also have the Smart Buns, same company that makes the Smart Cakes. So you can find these on their website and use the code, discount code for them as well. These are one Smart Point hamburger buns. And again, you wanna keep those in the freezer as well. And then the next shelf, I always have these Bibigo wontons. I really like having those on hand. And usually I have some sort of a pita that is a little higher point. I really like these Ezekiel 4-9 sprouted grain tortillas. They're four points a piece, but they're so good, you guys. So I usually have these on hand if I'm wanting something a little more whole food, a little more substantial than the Olay wrap. I seem to always have light whipped topping on hand. That's another thing. Also, I always have some sort of bacon. I have hash browns. I know my freezer is super duper full. I always have some sort of french fry to pop into my air fryer. And in this drawer, you can see I have a ton of frozen vegetables. I always, always have frozen vegetables on hand. They're a staple. I eat them with every single dinner. So I make sure that I stock up on my favorites. And another thing I keep in my freezer is my extra cream cheese because I can't always 
eat my cream cheese before it goes bad. So I'll throw my extra packs in the freezer to keep them good. Also, I will store extra random things like laughing cow cheese and ricotta cheese in my freezer as well to prevent them from going bad. So those are my freezer staples. Thank you for coming along with me and letting me show you what my WW pantry, refrigerator, and freezer staples are. I eat all of these things on a very regular basis. In fact, most of these items I'm eating on a daily basis. Some of them are brand new finds for me, which I have become obsessed with, and some of them are just my WW staples from the get-go. But I'm hoping this gives you some great ideas of things that you can purchase that will help you not only stay on track, but they taste delicious. They're great snack foods. They're great staple or foundation foods in your WW program. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome to my YouTube friends and family. This is a fantastic, positive place to be. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the little notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time that I upload. You don't wanna miss a single video. I'd love it if you'd give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what are some new things that maybe you don't know about or things that you didn't even know were WW friendly. And let me know what items you have to add to your pantry, refrigerator, or freezer. And I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.